Hello, Year 9. Um, a little video to help you with your assessment today. So you should have this opened up like this. So just a reminder to do your KO quiz. And let's look at what we're asking you to do today. We're asking you to write an answer to this question right here. How does Shakespeare present ideas about love and much ado about nothing? Now, you're going to start by looking at a certain extract. And this, this is the extract that's right here. Um, so in this part of the play, Benedict has overheard the very loud conversation about Beatrice being in love with him, being held by Leonato, Don Pedro, and Claudio. And of course, you remember that they are tricking him. But this is Benedict's reaction to it. So what is it that Benedict is saying about love within this extract? So you write about um, how Shakespeare's presenting ideas about love and in this conversation, and then how he shows ideas about love elsewhere in the play. Now, um, Mrs. Burke has really planned this very carefully for you, and she's including lots of information to help you here. So she's included some helpful hints for the assessment. Before you have a look at these, what I would recommend is that you just open up a new document and maybe do a bit of thinking on your own. So explain how Shakespeare presents ideas about love in the play. And if you wanted to do this on lined paper instead, that would be fine, of course. But just spend some time thinking about what you wanna say about how love is presented. So you could just jot down some ideas here, like hero, um, is in love with Claudio and love seems to be important to her. And then that, right, that might remind you some other things such as um, in this time period, it, this would be quite normal for an Elizabethan woman um, to be pursuing marriage and have to get permission from her father and so on and so forth. But it, I think it might just help you if you do a little bit of thinking and then have a look at all of the notes that um, Mrs. Burke has put together for you. So for example, she's told you that love is one of the themes in the play. And so you think, oh, okay, that's a really good idea. I wanna use that. So in my answer, you could just make a little list if you want to of things you want to include. So love is a theme. Okay, so maybe you wanna put that in your thesis then go back and have a look at what else you can get from this. All right, um, she gives you lots of different ideas here that love, it's not just romantic love, but it's love between family members as well. You could also talk about the love um, between friends, okay? Um, now, so you carry on, you read all of this, and then Mrs. Burke has also included some ideas for the what, how, why, okay? You are welcome to use these, this will really help you or you could use your own. So if you do this, it would be Claudio falls in love with Hero would be your first what, how, why paragraph. So have a look down here. Okay. Um, she's put that down here as, furthermore, Shakespeare presents ideas about superficial love through the characterization of Hero and Claudio. So then here you would want to write down some ideas that match up with that. So have a look back up here at the table. And you could use this as a quote. You could include some of this as the analysis, but you also want to include your own ideas, okay? Now, the reason that's the second paragraph is because your first main paragraph after your thesis needs to focus on this extract. Now, Mrs. Burke has planned this here as romantic love is through the characters of Benedict and Beatrice. And again, she's focusing on this extract. So the evidence is going to come from here. And so that information is put right here for you. Okay. So it gives you some ideas, but these are just her ideas. You're more than welcome. And we'd really like to see some of your own original ideas as well. Now, what's not on here that you might need a bit of help is how to write a thesis. So let's just remember by looking at this page. Your thesis is your very first paragraph, okay? There's gonna be two sentences. The first sentence is where you define the keyword in the question. 
And then the second sentence is to make an assertion, or that's just a strong statement. Okay, so let's go back and look at the question. How does Shakespeare present ideas about love? So in your answer, thesis, sentence one is going to have to be a definition of love. Okay, remember, we're not just talking about one type of love. We're talking about several types of love. Sentence two is going to be then a statement about that you're going to prove in your answer. So if the question is, how does Shakespeare present ideas about love in the play? What you want to think about is overall, what is Shakespeare saying about love? Is love important, for example? Um, does love cause complications? Maybe that's what he's presenting in the play, so on and so forth. Okay, hopefully you found this helpful. Best of luck, and we look forward to reading your assessments today. Stay safe, peeps.